I welcome you to the lecture series on machine learning and you know this session is for those guys who are preparing for different competitive examinations like GATE, EDC, NTNET and different placement interviews and other competitive examinations because in these sessions and in the coming sessions I am going to include some important MCQ questions that are frequently asked in such examinations. Well, after every question, I'll pause for 10 seconds within which you can answer your question. And after the session, you will calculate your score and let me know your score by comment. Well, so let's start today's lecture. And this is Dr. Dibyo. Okay, so the first question is, Point out the correct statement. Option A. The choice of an appropriate metric will influence the shape of the clusters. Option B. Hierarchical clustering is also called HCA. Option C. In general, the merges and splits are determined in a greedy manner. Option D. All of the invention. So, I hope I have explained enough about clustering so you will be able to answer this question. So, your time started now. And answer to this question is option D, that is all of the mention. Okay, so the so choice of an appropriate matrix will influence the shape of the clusters, and hierarchical cluster is also. Clustering is also known as HCA and in general the merges and splits are determined in a greedy manner. Some elements may be close to one another according to one distance and further away according to another. Okay, so that's why. Now one question is for you that what is the full form of HCA? Okay, comment your answer. Then second question is, is it possible that assignment of observation to clusters does not change between successive iter iterations in k-means? Either option A, yes, option B, no, option C, can say, and option D, none of the above. So your time started now. So question is asking about assignment of observation to clusters. Okay, whether it will be sensed between successive iteration in k-means or not. So the answer will be option A because that is yes means assignment of observation to clusters <coughs> does not change between the successive iteration in k-means means what? When a k-means algorithm has reached the local or global minima, it will not alter the assignment of data points to clusters for two successive iterations. So it is, you know, data points are not going to move. Okay. So they are not changing. So that's why the option is A. The next question is, which of the following can act as possible termination conditions in k-means for a fixed number of iterations that is one second assignments of observation to clusters does not change between either uh, between iterations except for cases with uh, bad local minimum and then three centroids do not change between successive iterations and four, terminate when RSS falls below a threshold. So you need to select correct option. Option A is one, three, and four. Option B is one, two, and three. Option C is one, two, and four. And option D is all of the mentioned. Well, please and means analyze the question. Okay, because this may be a little bit difficult. So your time started now. 
equal answer to this question is D that is all of the above. All the four conditions can be used as possible termination condition in k means clustering. Termination condition means what? When the algorithm will stop. Okay. So, <clears throat> this condition limits the runtime of the clustering algorithm, but in some cases, the quality of the clustering will be poor because of an insufficient number of iterations. That is for first option. Okay. Okay. So, that is the problem with uh, fixed number of iterations. Then, two says that except for cases with a bad local minimum, this produces a good clustering, but run times may be unacceptably long. This is for what? That is assignment of observation to clusters does not change between iteration except for cases with a bad local minimum. Then three, that is this also ensures that algorithm has converged at the minima. That T is what centroids do not change between successive iteration that is also a termination condition for k means algorithm then for what terminate when rss falls between a below a threshold okay this criteria ensures that the clustering is of a desired quality after termination practically it's good practice to combine it with a bound on the number of iterations to guarantee the termination so all these four conditions may be used for termination conditions of k-means algorithm although each of them has some uh, drawback also but we can use them okay that's what the question is asking that which of them can be used for termination conditions of k-means algorithm well so the next question is which of the following is finally produced by hierarchical clustering option a final estimate of cluster centroids option b Three, showing how close things are to each other. Option C, assignment of each point to cluster. Option D, call of the mansion. Well, your time started now. And the correct answer is option B. That is three, showing how, how close these things are is uh, means are to each other. Means how close the data points are to each other okay so <clears throat> hierarchical clustering is an agglomerative approach and i hope you all know that what is agglomerative of approach i have explained uh, with examples about agglomerative approach in my previous in one of my previous lectures okay so option b is the correct answer now coming to the last question for this lecture that is which of the following is required by k means clustering algorithm Option A, defined distance matrix. Option B, number of clusters. Option C, initial guess as to cluster centroids. And option D, all of the mansion. So, what will be the correct answer? Yeah, the correct answer is B, D. Okay, means all of the mansions. You know, all this uh, means defined distance matrix. That will be required by Gavin's clustering algorithm. And then number of clusters that also you need to provide. Then initial guess as the sun cluster centroids that also you have to provide. So that's all these things are needed by Gavin's clustering algorithm. So guys, these questions are clear to you because I have tried my best to explain each of them. Now, question for you is, will that the assignments of observation to clusters does 